What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Beretta PX4 Storm. Now, before I do that, I wanna mention my patron supporters. Thank you guys very much. We're doing a monthly giveaway for guns and gear related items. This month's gonna be a pair of electronic gear pro, but I think next month I'm gonna go with a knife. So put in the comments below what particular knife that you would like to see in the giveaway, and uh, maybe I'll get a fan favorite or something like that. I also wanna mention ammo.com. They have been a constant supporter of the channel. They have all kinds of ammo. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. Now, what is the Beretta PX? for storm well first i want to mention it's kind of an older gun this did not just come out i actually am late to the game in reviewing this pistol i had some biases about this originally that were melted away after shooting it it is a double single action pistol it is nine millimeter polymer framed a four inch rotating barrel design which is pretty impressive by the way it's one of the only guns that doesn't use the brownie action and that's going to come into play in the review here in a little bit it, even though it is a four inch barrel it takes 17 round magazines i actually have the 19 round magazines in this particular one because that's just too much fun it comes with either a safety or a decocker it's 27 ounces and it's kind of the original g19 x g45 short barrel long grip so for you guys who like that beretta's been doing it for quite a while not as long as the 1911 commander which is what i brought up in the 45 but for all you glock fanboys out there who say that it's the new hotness it's been around for a minute the unique rotating barrel design leads to a lot less recoil than the standard browning tilting design and i think that's because the barrel itself actually rotates in the chamber as you see there as opposed to flipping up, which I think leads to more muzzle flip. Now, I honestly thought that was bullshit. When I first heard this, I thought it was bullshit, but I've shot several guns now with this particular design, and I would say they do have substantially less muzzle flip. Maybe not perceived recoil, but you can keep that gun on target, and this thing is like a little mini machine gun. Now, what's it used for? Well, you can use it for anything you'd use your 1911 Commander or Glock 19X for. You can use it for carry, home defense, plinkin, really whatever you want. I actually believe this could flex more into a competition role as well, being as that it has such a light recoil impulse, which would be very good for competition. The reliability in this gun was 100%. And for Beretta, I kind of expected that. You know, the M9, the 92, for some of the faults they have, they are extremely reliable. I shot 500 rounds through this particular gun with zero failures. All of it was Phoenix remanufactured ammo. The durability is also pretty awesome. During some military trial, this went 150,000 rounds with no parts breakages, according to Beretta's website. Now, that's a pretty biased uh, place to get your information from, but hey. The accuracy on this pistol is good, but I would say the short sight radius, uh, if you're not running a red dot, is kind of a detriment to long-range accuracy. I noticed that I shot my Glock 34 PPQ match quite a bit better than I shot this at distance. However, up close, this is actually just as fast as those five inch guns. One of the things holding this gun back, in my opinion, is going to be the texture of the grip. It couldn't be smoother. There's only texture on the front strap, which isn't very great, kind of that fish scale. And there's a little bit of texture on the uh, removable back strap here as well. And it does come with three of those, which is kind of nice. But I would definitely, if I was keeping this pistol, the first thing I would do was do one of the more aggressive stipple jobs I could find, maybe send it off to Loki Tactical something like that. Ooh, I like this. It does have lower recoil. That's pretty cool. Kind of feels like a, uh, oh, we had a little problem with battery there, but it kind of feels like the uh, Arsenal Strike B or the uh, Arsenal, whatever the name of that is now, the Archon Strike B. So many names. Some of the features that it has that I like, it does have the uh, safety decocker in the position that I do not like. Out of everything I could change on this gun, I would completely eliminate this. It hasn't caused any problems for me 
honestly, but I know that on the 92 and the M9, I have had some issues with this. This is a lot more low profile than that, but still, I would do away with this completely. This is a silly design putting this on the slide. The slide release works awesome. The mag release works awesome. Takedown is fairly easy. It does have a light rail to put your lights and lasers and whatever else you want to put on there. It does have functional uh, slide uh, serrations if you want to do those press checks, which I do like to do because it looks cool on the internet. What are the downsides of this pistol? What keeps this from becoming the new Glock killer because this gun's been out for quite a while and you don't really hear that much about it and I think the number one thing that keeps this out of the hands of a lot of people is it kind of looks dumb I mean I know people say they don't buy guns because they look cool but I think a lot of people do and I think the looks of this pistol alone kept me from buying this for quite a while and the fact that there's just not a lot of reputable reviewers out there that have done reviews on this pistol there have been some lately but for quite a while there this was kind of the unsung hero of the pistol world I think the double action keeps a lot of you striker fired guys away I think the looks keeps the general public away and I think maybe the uh, grip texture and whatnot keeps the tactical guys away so I think maybe if Beretta would revamp this gun just a little bit they would have a heck of a seller on their hands here maybe even do something completely different with the same action because honestly the rotating barrel design I've just become a bigger and bigger fan of the more and more I use it now to end this review the price on these is around $500 but you can actually find them for less than that uh, some of the uh, souped up models can go all the way up to about a thousand but even still that's not too bad for all the features that you get I would really like to see in the future, I would like to see a new model of this with a 5-inch barrel. I would like to see it come without this safety decocker model, and I would like to see it with more texture. If they could come out with a model like that, it might be my favorite handgun. Uh, for this gun, because of some of the drawbacks, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, but it is a lot better than what I originally anticipated I was going to get myself into. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help at your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.